Hello, bow making for groomers. We've recently had some requests for fabric bow ties, and I'm attempting my very first video to show some people how to do them. First, you're gonna need some fabric, something to cut it with, a ruler, some rubber bands. I chose black this time because they'll be more visible on the video. And then we'll get into a few other things as we go along. I'm working here with a half a yard of basic cotton fabric. And what we wanna do to start out is to get your fabric straightened out. Kind of put your selvages together. We're gonna, I'm gonna fold it in thirds because it makes it easier to cut for me. I do a lot of production cutting since I have to um, come up with about 80 different things for the week. I'm gonna stick a few pins in here just so things don't slide around. It kind of helps. We have two groomers that work at our shop, so I do have to produce quite a bit of stuff in a week. Okay, now you might be wondering what my little pieces of tape are on here. I stick those on there. Just, it um, helps with me measuring things. I don't have to individually measure. Because when I do these, I usually do five or six different pieces of fabric at a time. Okay, what I'm gonna be doing first is setting up my fabric here so that I've got a nice straight edge. You probably can't see the lines, but I'm Straightening my salvage edge here along that line so we can get it nice and straight. And hopefully my cutter will work this time. I think we've got time for a new blade. Okay, with any luck, I finished cutting through there. So need a new blade. We'll continue on. I'm back. I went and changed the blade on my rotary cutter, so hopefully we can go along with this a little faster. Much better. Ah, nice clean cut. Now, if you don't happen to have a rotary cutter, you can do this with scissors. It just, do it a little bit different. I didn't have a rotary cutter. I'd simply do like this. Go ahead and measure. Grab my pencil, make a little line, make sure you can see it. And then cut straight through with the scissors. Now if making them this size, I have a little bit of leftover fabric here. Don't want to waste anything, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that up even, and we'll use that maybe to make a binding on some of the bow uh, some of the bow ties. Okay, everything's cut. I'm going to stop a minute and change over to the iron. Okay, I've got all my strips cut, and so now we're going to iron them. I am applying a little bit of spray starch. It helps everything kind of stick together as you go. This is just a little ironing pad that I picked up somewhere down the line. It works great. Tabletop. If you don't have something like this, then towel. 
uh, pillowcase, anything like that. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm folding my fabric over. Got my iron set on cotton. I'm just ironing one side of the fabric down. Go along the whole length of your fabric. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Okay, flip it over. Fold it down again. And iron it again. And kind of tucked under there. When you go along and do this for all of your different fabric pieces, this is going to give you approximately know, about a two inch bow tie, somewhere in that area, one and a half to two inch. If you cut your strips at, I think I cut them at four and a quarter. We've got our strip done. We'll continue on and do the rest of the strips. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back and I have all of my strips ironed out here. Um, with a half an inch of, I mean, excuse me, a half a yard of fabric cut the way I cut it, uh, about four and a quarter inches wide and about eight and three quarters inches long, you should end up with about 20 or 20 um, bow ties out of a half a yard of fabric, which makes it a pretty cheap project. I've already pre-measured this. That's why I got the little pieces of tape there. It keeps me from having to measure each one individually. Just cut them off as I go. Played around for quite a while trying to get the exact sizes down. I said I do quite a few of these and so I like to keep my cost down and get the maximum amount out of my fabric. Now see we got just a little tail left over that salvage. Just cut that off. Okay we've got everything cut. Now we need to make a bow tie. I'm using, normally I would probably pick a color rubber band that match the fabric a little bit better, but on, I figured you could see the black. All right, got your little piece here. Kind of find a center on it. I'm gonna flip it in and flip it over, just like that. In and over. You got your little bow tie. Okay, going to Pinch up and pinch down. Hold it for a second. I use these cheap rubber bands on this because I don't want to use my good grooming bands. We'll use those for other things. And now we have a bow tie. Find a center. Fold it over, it laps. I usually fold it so that this flap is going that way because I'm usually coming this way with the rubber bands and that way I don't get it caught up. Pinch up, pinch down. When I do these, I do up a bunch of fabric at a time and I'll sit and watch TV and just crank out bows, bow ties, bows. These could also be girl bows if you did a uh, girly fabric. One more time. Find a center. Fold it 
over, fold it over, pinch up, pinch down, band. Oops, fingers work here. Mm, one more on that one. These are kind of large rubber bands. A lot of times I have a little bit smaller ones. These are some of those bracelet bands. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a second and then I'll show you another thing that I do. While we were pausing for a few minutes, I went ahead and finished cutting all of the rest of the strips that we did. Um, and I folded them in half here. That's how I store them because I don't do everything at once. One little trick that you can do, I love these um, snack storage bags. Get them at Walmart or Dollar Store anyway. It's the, the kind of long, narrow ones. They work great for this. I just put all my strips in here. They stay nice and clean till I get ready to finish them up. because I usually have several different kinds going. Put them in there and off they go. That way I can just grab a bag and start putting them together. Now that we have our basic bow done, we have to figure out how we're gonna finish it, how we're gonna attach it to a collar. Uh, there's several different ways to do this. I've seen all kinds. Um, the one thing about the bow, if you just try to slip it on with this, it might work but you're probably gonna end up messing things up and you don't really have your bow finished. So what we're gonna do is finish them out. I'm going to um, start with a little ribbon here. I chose this color. Hopefully my glue gun's hot enough. Just gonna put a dab of glue. Kind of put it on each side of the rubber band because once in a great while you'll get a rubber band. But if you hit it with hot glue, it's gonna pop. Come around. around, slip a little bit of hot glue on there again, pull it nice and tight. I don't cut my pieces beforehand. Because it kind of wastes ribbon. So now we've got a finished bow. You could put an embellishment on there if you would like. Uh, now attaching it to the collar, a lot of times what I do is I use um, fold over elastic, but people can use rubber bands. If you take, if you wanna use a rubber band, put a couple dots of glue on here, slip a couple of bands like that. You can use any old scrap of fabric to do this. little band. Now you've got some bands to slip it over the collar. Actually, I would have finished that off first. Ah, mess this one up. Okay. Grab the wrong one. We'll do that again. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll do it on the finished one. Come on, glue gun. Sorry, I told you it's my first video. I'm a little bit fumbly. Okay, there we go. Now that's on the finished one. And you can slip it on the dog collar with the rubber bands. Some people like to use these little hair tie things. You can get them at the dollar store, I think a hundred for a dollar. And what I do with, if I use these, what I do with them, I put them on first and then put the band on. A little glue there. Forgive my poor old glue gun, it's pretty nasty. I put the metal part underneath this. Put a little bit more glue on there. Same thing we did before. 
push it down. I bought some bulk glue and it is the stringiest stuff I've ever worked with, but I got a whole case of it, so I'm having to deal with it. Okay, now you've got two nice little tabs there that you can slip over a collar. So we've got the rubber bands, cheap and easy. The little bands here, and my favorite is fold over elastic. I know a lot of people don't use that, but I am in love with it. This is a piece, I think this is about 12 inches long. This is very stretchy stuff. They use it for kids' headbands and stuff. And I will do it up in 10 inch lengths, 12 inch lengths, 14 inch lengths. You can see a 12 inch length is pretty good size. Go around a lot of medium size, it'd probably handle a cocker. And I go ahead when I do this and glue it on first and then come back and do my center. Most of the dogs in my area don't wear collars, so we rarely have collars to put bows on, so that's one of the reasons that I started doing this. Okay, so now I have that one. It's all finished, ready to go on a dog. So we have three different ways that you can put them on. Some people also use Velcro. I've never been a particular fan of that. Okay, now, one other little trick that I'll show you is storing these things. I do them up as I said, in um, kind of like assembly line. I'll go through and cut everything. I'll do my packaging up and then I'll sit, put things together. And then I'll have a bunch like this that I'll finish out all at one time with the fold over elastic or however I'm gonna do it. And I store them on these, I call them smoothie straws, because it helps keep everything from crushing down and I can just store them up like this in shoe boxes and everything's ready. So when I go to, to put my bands and stuff on in this, I can just sit and do that all at one time. So I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions, please ask and excuse my mistakes. <laughs> I'll try to do better. I'm planning on doing one on simple bows and on bandanas. Thank you for your time.